Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the Heart of God Teen Study Bible. So this one is a hardcover edition. It is in the Christian Standard Bible. So we can see kind of lightly in the background there is a compass on there. But I like the colors that they chose on this Bible. I think the colors are appealing. It's eight and a half inches tall by five and three quarters inches wide. And it is an inch and seven eighths thick. So we've got blue head and tail bands. Just plain white page edges. Does have a sewn binding. On the spine we've got CSB. Heart of God Teen Study Bible. And this one is done by Baker. So there's some information about this one right there. I'll get it closer. And then here are the features. So we're going to have book introductions, setting the stage, seeing the heart of God, and so forth. We're actually going to see all of this on the inside of the Bible. There's an example of the font size. A little bit of information about the editor. There's some information on the CSB. So we've got Baker Books there. And there's the ISBN number. So this one retails for $34.99. You can definitely find it for less online. And there will be a link in the description box. So we've got kind of a bluish green paper paste down liner. And you can see right there that right at the beginning of this Bible, it's laying totally flat. So I do like the colors in here. It's kind of a greenish blue, a lot more green than blue. So we've got our copyright page. We're going to have all of our contents, all the Bible study helps. And this one's got some neat stuff in it. We've got all the books of the Bible, an introduction to the Heart of God Teen Study Bible. And then on the pages here, you can kind of see that they've kind of got a little bit of color on the edges to kind of give it a little bit of an old school look. And so I think that's kind of neat. So some of the features that are in this one. So this page will start to talk about it and then we'll get over here and it'll talk about like setting the stage. So that's going to be summaries, which introduces what you'll be reading and its function in the larger story of the book or the letter. Then we're going to have seeing the heart of God. So that's going to be more on the application side. So it's going to help you to apply the truths to your life. We're going to have biographical snapshots. So those are going to basically be profiles of people in the Bible. Then we've got the behind the scenes, which is going to be sidebars, which will give you background information about the Bible times. So it can be stuff like uh, historical or cultural geographical, political, religious, any of that sort of stuff. Then there will be big questions. So on those, it's just going to be sidebars that have some of the hard questions and difficulties found in the Bible. Then we're going to have encountering God. So these are going to be articles that explore God's relationships with biblical people and are designed to help you see the heart of God in the biblical text. So really neat stuff in here. We're going to have an introduction to the CSB. And they you can you might be able to see, I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera, but there's different colors in the text. So we've got kind of a greenish blue. This is kind of like a plum color. So I do like the way that they did that. And we're going to get so we've got all the commonly used abbreviations and then we get right into the Old Testament. So that's kind of like a deep red on there but the compass is kind of what we see on the front of the Bible doesn't show it on the back but it does on the front so we're going to get right into Genesis I'm going to zoom you in so we can see again with the compass theme and with the CSB one of their models is the true north logo so it's kind of neat so we're going to have the introduction to Genesis so it's going to have the heart of God in Genesis, the author, the audience and date. We're going to have the purpose of Genesis, the context within the scripture, and then a basic outline. And then we'll get right into the biblical text. It's going to be a double column format. So the font is going to be a nine point font on the text and then seven point on the notes. So you can kind of see that that's like a greenish blue then we've got a red deep red for the setting the stage section and then we've got our biblical text so it's paragraph format double column 
And the text in this one is actually done really well. You don't get any distractions on this. You can see how clear that is. So I'll just flipping through a few of these pages. We're going to see how first it's going to set the stage. We'll have some biblical text. Then we're going to see a section at the end of what they just read on the scene, the heart of God. Then the next section is going to set the stage again. We'll have a biographical snapshot. That one's going to be Adam and Eve. And then here's one of the Encountering God articles. Another scene, the heart of God. Then it goes to setting the stage again. So this is going to be a great Bible for teens or even for like an adult who might be functioning on a lower level mentally and might have the mentality of a teenager. This would be a great Bible for them. So then we get into, we see one of the big questions, then another scene, the heart of God, setting the stage, then a behind the scenes. So we're only 11 pages in, and we've seen a lot of these already. So this is going to have tons of these throughout it, which is going to be great for a teen. And again, the text in this one is very, very readable. So very clear, even though it's not considered large as far as the font, it's super readable and the majority of it is line match. Now sometimes in a study Bible where they have these other little things, sometimes that messes with the line matching, but the majority of this one that I've checked has been line matched. It's got a nice paper, the paper does have a good feel to it. Now this one's not marked in at all because this one's going to be gifted to a teen, so I'm not going to mark in it to test it. So once we get into the New Testament, we're going to see that we've got the red letter. So I'm going to give you a close-up of that. So there's the red letter, and then in the CSB, so in this where we see the bold, so this is going to be a section where it's Christ speaking because it's in red, and then when he says, when he's quoting the Old Testament, it's going to be in bold. Same with in the other parts of the text where you, if you see it in bold, that means they're quoting the Old Testament. But it does have a nice shade of red. So decent shade of red. And then there's the example of the bold. But very nicely done Bible. It does have a sewn binding. So it's going to hold up. It lays flat. And this would be an excellent Bible to start a teen out with. We're going to have a table of weights and measures. We're going to have Bible promises. So this is neat. And I'm going to get you closer. So this will be helpful, especially to a teen or new believer, because it's going to give God's promises, offer comfort, consolation, direction. And then we've got God's promises, help when I feel anger, anxiety, confusion. God's promises that I can stand against death, depression, failure. So great stuff for a teen. Definitely relevant and very useful. We're going to have the miracles of Jesus, the major parables, an index to all the big questions. That's going to be arranged alphabetically by topic. Then we're going to have the list of the Encountering God articles. That's going to be an order of appearance. We've got all the behind the scenes sidebars also in order of appearance. Then the index to biographical snapshots which will be listed alphabetically. Then we're going to have the application index. And then in the back, we do have a one-year reading plan. And then we just get back to the end of the Bible. Now, the only thing that I would have liked to have seen, especially for a teen edition, would be to incorporate some Bible maps because a teen's definitely going to want to see some maps. So they could probably maybe come up with some maps in a future edition. But great Bible. The print quality in it is really good. I was very impressed with the Bible for this price to be so readable and to have such clear print. And there is a decent size margin, so you can take some notes in there. But great Bible, definitely worth getting for a teen. I don't know if you've had a chance to check these out yet. Again, this one is by Baker, is who does this one. They also offer a different cover option as well. There is the ISBN number, and again, this one does retail for $34.99, but you can find it for less online, and there will be a link in the description box. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.